Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Get ready folks. This is the final level. Well, not exactly final level. Well, it is the final level in the main story of the game, but you get the idea. Anyway, we've got uh, the meteors and this instant death, death cloud. Yes, keep moving forward. Don't stop. And you'll notice that we've got these platforms as well when they tip like a teeter-totter to one side depending on which side you touch them on. And yeah, you get the idea. Just keep running forward, keep it nice and smooth because you don't want to get that get caught up by that death cloud. After all, instant death, you aren't gonna get any coins if you get caught up in that, so yeah. Just keep your eyes out for some coins, not those kinds of coins, I mean these kinds of coins. That's coin number one. Just keep a steady pace forward, and you'll keep far ahead from the death cloud. Now, you'll notice that the, those lava spires there, they do get in your way. That's a part of the level to put a little more pressure onto you. But as long as you keep moving forward, you'll always be far enough away from the death cloud that you'll have time to wait. And there's a Pell Block here. Grab the Pell Block, plop it here, and you'll get coin number two. And just keep moving forward, wait out these lava plumes. Uh, if you really, really have to, you can jump through those lava plumes and just take a hit. You know, if you're really being pressured by the death cloud. I mean, if you're going to die anyway, you might as well take a hit from uh, something that won't kill you right away. So, carefully dodge the- Oh no! Meteors and everything and- Alright, we're back over here. I decided not to cut too far ahead this time, just to uh, give you a feel for the halfway point and where it leads you off and stuff like that. You get the idea. Uh, you know, just to see where the cloud is at, so you can get the feel for it, whatever, you know what I mean. So, let's just plop that down again, grab the coins. And continue moving forward. I'm getting close to the area area where I died before, but that's all right. I'm not gonna die this time. I have confidence in my platforming skills. Uh, okay, maybe not. These meteors can be pretty intrusive, and sometimes you even have to jump to uh, offset the timing of where the meteors land. You know where the safe areas are and whatnot. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll probably notice that I've been doing that throughout the level. Um, you need to use a shell here to break through a block like that, or wait for the meteors to do it yourself. And now you have to wait over here for a meteor to drop from the from the sky to get that coin. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to get it in time, because that death cloud is on its way. I'm not going to be able to get it. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> It kind of trapped me there. That's all right. Uh, at least I got the first two coins. But now I'll be back for the third in just a second. And by a second, I mean a cut. So, here we go. All right, now if when you're over here and you actually have a hit, you don't have to wait for any meteors to plop through there. Even though I'm kind of failing to do that. Because you can just do something like this to get the coin. Yeah, you don't have to wait for a meteor unless you're small. Or I should say a lava rock, unless you're small. So, yeah. It, it was kind of unlucky on my part that I ended up small there. But no problem, really. This stage isn't hard at all, but it's really fun. And next stage. 8 Dash two. Uh, there's a secret exit in this one, too. I don't remember where it is, but I remember where all the coins are. Uh, one of them is in a really, really hidden area because this stage is really dark. Um, you'll notice that there's... Uh, so we start from the outside into a meteor zone here. Uh, but that doesn't mean we're going to have another stage like the last one. Oh no, we go underground into... Oh wait, this isn't the... This isn't the dark one that I was thinking of. Oh, this yeah, okay, so maybe I don't know where the coins are in this one. I'm going to just check over there for the fun, but uh, the one I was thinking of is a really pitch black one. You'll know you'll know which one I'm talking about when I get there. Um, but for this one, the, the hidden co uh, coins of this level are usually, if they're not out in the open, they are usually like hidden behind walls next to the sides of these roly-poly grounds here. So, yeah. Oh! <laughs> 
I lost that power up or whatever the heck was in there. If there was something in there, and there appears to be a generator of spike balls coming out of there for whatever reason. Who creates these things? Ho! Oh, Ho! Oh, I'm guessing Bowser, actually. <laughs> so, let's just go along here and red coin run here for whatever reason. I guess it's for a power up if you're into that sort of thing, which I'm not. And you'll notice that those big Goombas split in two whenever you jump on them. Um, that doesn't really do very much because they're still Goombas at heart, so they don't really do all that much to you. Um, am I really missing coin number two? Let me go down here. Ah, there's coin number two. It, it felt like that it was a while since the last time I've been to an area, you know, that yielded me a coin, so I figured out that the coin area was coming up soon. Uh, it just felt that way to me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let these ha pass by, because it looked like there was a larger gap between those two, or maybe not, I don't know. You can go through here, and there's another coin, but you have to wait for those spike balls to clear out. So I guess I did remember where all three coins were in this one. Yay! <laughs> My memory's not as bad as I thought! And you've got these really accelerating, fast thingies! Oh, to try and get up there like I just did there. But I fail on my jump on top of those two bricks. Well, brick blocks. But that's 8-2. Whew! And as I said, there's a secret exit as well. So... We gotta go searching. And this secret exit really leads to a pretty large sh shortcut, so it's worth finding if you're not going for 100% and just want to skip a lot. It also leads to a really cool stage. Anyway, enough blabbering, let's go. Oh, that's right near the uh, exit pipe to that under air underground area there. Okay, what you want to do here, I, I remember this now, you want to go and get into a high pipe. I'm looking for some certain something, let's just say that. Um, I don't think it's there. Or maybe that it does lead to the secret exit and I'm just making this a lot harder than it seems. Um, what if I go... Whoa, boy. That'll lead to death. That'll definitely lead to death. Okay, what if I go up here? Well, I can go up there. Just for the fun of it, let's just see where it leads. Oh, it just leads me back out here. Okay. So I probably do have to go all the way to the right over there. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Just gotta keep doing little spin jumps to get across these roly-poly grounds. Whoa! Or maybe it's actually up here. <laughs> Hello? Oh, there's just a bunch of coins there. That's probably where I needed to use the power block to get a bunch of coins. Uh, well, let's just see if this is the secret exit before I jump to any conclusions. We're getting popped outside, so that's a good sign that it's one. At least I hope. And... Secret exit! Yeah, baby! Woo! That took me quite a while to find, actually. I forgot to check that one wall near the end. I was looking through all those uh, wheel-like things throughout the whole level, and that's what kind of confused me, because I was expecting them to put a pipe somewhere in the middle of them. You know how they like to put pipes on those spinning wheels? And this leads to 8-5, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, 8-7. Wow, that's way down the road, so I'm not going there just yet. But I can go over to 8-3. Um, there isn't any more secret exits in this level, so all you have to do from here on out is collect the coins. This is a really fun level here. We've got these waves of lava. Needless to say, they are one-hit kills. But still, this is a very fun level, because it, they're very, very slow. And, and they really test um, your control in platforming, like like this right here, stuff like that. Because you gotta wait until a wave goes underneath so that there's an opening to collect the coin. You get the idea. So that's coin number one. And I should actually not be going this fast because I'm pretty sure they actually hit a coin somewhere inside the lava. Like. No. I know that I know that there's a hidden wall somewhere around here that you have to risk the lava getting into. Um, go 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 go! <laughs> uh, maybe this was the coin that I was thinking of. This might might be it. That seemed way too easy from uh, what I remember. Then again, a lot of things seem easier than what I remember anyway. Um, this over here. 
How do I remember there being a secret over there? I don't know. Maybe because I checked there before, maybe there's a secret in here? No? Okay. Let's just skip over that and fire chomp. What are you doing here? Well, I guess it's kind of your home after all. It's, you know, fiery. Um, I'm not liking the looks of this here. Far Wait a second. What is this? Propeller mushroom? I never knew this was here before. Oh, that's a nice surprise. Um, what's... Oh, there's the last coin. You did have to go down somewhere. This was the harder one that I was thinking of. Um, I'm gonna wait for him to fizzle himself out. Come on, fizzle yourself. Well, you know what, I'll just go down. There we go, third coin. Run, Mario! Run! You can make it! Uh, this won't be hard at all, actually, from here on out, especially since I've got the propeller mushroom to basically speedrun the sucker. Well, I guess it's not a total speedrun, because a normal speedrun would just be moving forward constantly, rather than flying through the air and losing speed. And there's some chandelier platform-like thingies outside. What are they hanging on? Anyway, I just realized this. What? Where are these things hanging from? Hello? Is there something up here? Anything? No? Uh, me and me, me and questioning the game logic. Anyway, that's that. I think I'm gonna end it off here. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next part when we do the fortress.